Do you think that it was the King James Version or, or where do you think we kind of lost the, the narrative in terms of the numerous gods? Was it uh, Septuagint or was it earlier or? Oh, uh, the numerous gods. Yeah, I didn't really get into this because we were focused on early Genesis. But um, you have this platonic philosophy where there's lots of gods on earth. They're all good. They all get along together. And that runs throughout Genesis. Uh, you don't have any criticism of the gods. You know, Joseph marries a, a, a daughter of a priestess uh, in Egypt and so on and so forth. All the gods are okay in Genesis. When you hit Exodus, it's a different story. They made Yahweh the supreme and only mm -hmm. God. Uh, I mean, one thing they did explicitly is they conflated or identified Yahweh with the creator of Genesis 1. In the Ten Commandments, you have the Sabbath because Yahweh created heaven and earth in six days and rested on the seventh day. Well, that's, that's what you call reception history. It's where the original text had Elohim as the creator, Yahweh a different God. But when they wrote Exodus, they knew about that, but they changed the story. They responded to it. He said, you know, Yahweh is the same as all these other gods, Elohim and, uh, you know, uh, El Elyon and all the rest. And they bundled them all into one. And that confused things from then on because there was only one God that was good and he was the enemy the mortal enemy of all the other gods running around that's very anti-platonic uh so so it got lost sight of early it got lost sight of uh when a different group of authors wrote exodus through joshua that uh you know only one god yahweh and everyone else destroy the, those cults and uh, murder their adherents and a lot of genocide going on and it's but you can't impose that back on genesis does that does that clarify things yeah it does it does yeah it does and, and then it later does. on i mean there you you actually have yeah, there were a bunch of gods. Yahweh was fighting against Chemosh and the gods of Egypt. But then later on, between the Hebrew Bible and, uh, and the Christian Bible, then you have true mon mon monotheism where they deny that these other gods even existed. So that's an even later development. 